attention to Europe now, and Eurozone finance ministers began a two-day informal meeting in Lithuania on Friday, with the trading bloc's banking union at the top of the agenda. Else on the table will be a pace of reforms in Greece and Cyprus. CCTV's Jack Barton has the details. A day after EU lawmakers agreed to put the European Central Bank in charge of assessing the health of the bloc's lenders, European finance ministers met to discuss the next big step. Who gets to decide when and how to wind up a failing bank? The entity will be called the Single Resolution Mechanism, and the lead contender for oversight is the European Commission, which is not a very popular idea among countries like Germany that doesn't want to see too much power handed to the Brussels bureaucracy. The ministers also discussed the progress of reforms among troubled member states including Slovenia's attempt to ease its finance sector crisis by winding up some of its most troubled banks. It is now widely accepted that Greece will need another bailout of 10 billion euros. And there was also subtle talk of more restructuring ahead for Cyprus. But detailed discussions on these topics and more will have to wait until after the German election in under a fortnight, as rescue deals remain deeply unpopular with German taxpayers and Chancellor Angela Merkel is avoiding any mention of the word bailout as she seeks a third term in office. On Saturday, the Eurozone ministers will continue their meeting with their counterparts from the 11 EU countries that do not use the single currency.